Today, wireless connectivity is vital to our technology-driving world and underpins a vision of the future. Qualcomm Technologies is at the forefront of pushing the boundaries of wireless communication. We are not only pursuing unprecedented performance in wireless connectivity, but also creating building blocks for new cable-free services such as wireless data center and wireless fiber to the home. These building blocks have the potential to replace fiber cables while solving problems like multiple access and cost-effective load balancing. The demand for data center is rising, and in our first demo, we tackle a major data center challenge, maximizing throughput and minimizing latency among server racks, which is a strength of fully meshed networks. But data centers typically employ a tree topology, with data traversing multiple switches to reach the destination. While this architecture enables massive connectivity cost effectively, it is limited in its ability to handle traffic surges or failures. This is where wireless connectivity comes in. We introduced connectivity on demand, a dynamic traffic delivery revolution that augments a data center's fiber network with high performance beam forming wireless connectivity. We demonstrate connectivity on demand on edge units with four racks, each controlled by a switch with a topology of two switches communicating with two other switches. Initially, the data traffic solely relays on a fiber network and we observe packet drops when demand exceeds the fiber network capacity of 200 gigabits per second. Our wireless hardware includes a real-time full duplex two layers MIMO modem with 4 GHz bandwidth, as seen in the spectrum analyzer, that effectively doubles the total network's capacity from that of fiber alone and significantly reduces packet drops during traffic surges. If we abstract one of the links, the throughput reacts accordingly. Since our 4 GHz bandwidth is a third of the 12 GHz bandwidth in the 60 GHz frequency band, the throughput shown are extrapolated to the band's full capability. The wireless network also makes the data center much more flexible with dynamic connectivity. To demonstrate this, let us assume a change in the traffic endpoint is required from the front racks to the cross racks we see an increase in the packet drops in the fiber-only configuration to the fiber network's limits. Now, we reconfigure the wireless network to match the new traffic profile by beam steering the RF to the cross racks. We see the throughput increasing and packet drops reducing again. Connectivity on demand is working well. By reconfiguring the wireless links, we could support the dynamically changing traffic requirements with no additional hardware. The measured latency is also very low, which is a key requirement for data centers. As we have seen, a cost-efficient and responsive data center can be realized with dynamically configurable wireless connectivity for high-throughput network architecture. We at Qualcomm Technologies look forward to pushing the boundaries of 60 GHz wireless connectivity beyond 3GPP release 17 specifications. With dynamic beam forming in 60 GHz and multiple band capacity, with 140 GHz and 300 GHz, we hope to further improve the performance and cost efficiency of connectivity on demand for the data center. In a second demo, we present a subterrain system that uses space division multiple access or SDMA for high throughput connectivity between a single transmitter and multiple distant receivers. Some existing applications include cost-effective wireless fiber to the home and point-to-multipoint wireless frontal to multiple remote radios. The demo has subterrain wireless links from one side of a soccer stadium to three distant locations across the stadium using a compact, single-lens MIMO transmitter. The transmitter operates in 140 GHz frequency band with 4 GHz bandwidth in a two-layer MIMO modem with a 32 QAM constellation. We achieve throughputs of up to 80 gigabits per second at a distance beyond 140 meters. The throughput can increase to 200 gigabits per second if bandwidth is expanded to 10 gigahertz as demonstrated last year. The transmitted data serves three distant stations simultaneously and confront all three remote radios to cover different parts of the stadium. Additional stations at different locations can be added while still using the single lens transmitter. This demonstration shows how subterrain technologies can provide high throughput to multiple receivers simultaneously, opening the door to new high-performance use cases. 
We at Qualcomm Technologies look forward to continuing our leadership in this field to enable a world where everyone and everything is intelligently connected. <laughs>